doing a Bible review on the She Reads Truth Bible. This is the Christian Standard Bible, and it's made by Holman. So I have a precious friend who sent me this Bible for review. You know who you are, so I just want to thank you so much for sending me this so that I could review this Bible. So this is a champagne color matte finish hardcover. The spine has this little artistic detail here and this very pretty font of She Reads Truth. This is the Christian Standard Bible, or CSB, and this has been published by Holman. The back cover is plain, and you might be able to notice here that we've got two ribbons. There's a yellow satin ribbon, and then there's a beige satin ribbon. These aren't super long ribbons if you like to bring these out to open your Bible. So you may want to add a longer ribbon to this. That's very easy to do. So let's go ahead and take a look inside. So this is a paste down cardstock liner and we have that same lined artwork here. Now, the, this was given to me by a friend, so I wanna keep our names private. So we're not going to look at the presentation page, but it is on cardstock as well. And then we open up to the She Reads Truth. So this particular one, the copyright is 2017. And here at the bottom, you're going to have a variety of cover options. So you can see here, there's a hard cover, a gray linen cloth, a poppy linen cloth, that one's really pretty, a brown genuine cowhide, a navy leather touch, and they have some art editions as well that have come out since 2017. And these also come in a regular book format where there are no thumb indexes, but they also come where there are thumb indexes for each book of the Bible. We have our welcome letter from Rachel and Amanda. And one of the things I think is really cool is that Amanda's maiden name is Bible. So how neat is that? You can go to shereadstruth.com to receive information about Bible studies, their podcast, their reading plans. They also have a She Reads Truth subscription box delivery membership and a She Reads Truth app. So it's a fantastic thing to go to to see these ladies' website at shereadstruth.com. But if you're wanting more Bible information, that's going to be shereadstruth.csbible.com. Both of those will be listed up here. Then we have our table of contents page, and there are some fantastic details in the back of this Bible. So we are going to be looking at the back before we get inside our Bible. And here we have details on how to read the Bible. We've got the Bible is God's word. The Bible is a historical record. It is meant to be read. It is for you. It is for right now. Approach God's word reverently, confidently, regularly. Engage God's word expectantly, intellectually, and broadly. Apply God's word appropriately, responsibly, and apply it permanently. Read prayerfully, be doers of the word, and the Bible is God's story. And there are scriptures that go along with each one of these. Now, you might be noticing here that we have some words in red, but I want to let you know, this is not a red letter edition. They just have these words in red to kind of highlight how to read the Bible. So when we get into the New Testament and we're reading the words of Christ, it's all going to be a black letter edition. I do wish it was red letter because I thought when I saw this, that this was a red letter edition, especially when I saw these Bible verses here. And uh, so anyway, let's move on. So then we have, this is the, the gospel. Do you know you were designed on purpose? You are broken, you have hope. You bear God's image. We have all sinned. Death is not the whole story. Jesus is alive and so is our hope. And again, we're going to have Bible verses all throughout. Now we have our key features. We have a genre indicator, and these are color coded. We have key verses, and these summarize each book of the Bible. 
We're going to have introductions, which frame scripture and prepare us to engage with the Bible. And then with the layout, it is an eight point font size in a custom Bible serif font. It's a single column and it has large margins. There are two reading plans. There's a reading plan within each book of the Bible, but there's also a reading plan at the very back of the Bible, which I will explain, and it is different than what you find within the 66 books, and you'll see what I'm talking about once we get there. There are going to be 189 devotionals, so there's not one to read with every time that you're picking up your scripture and your Bible to read it, but there's 189 scattered throughout. So we're going to have 20 maps, 11 charts, and we will have 35 timelines. Continuing with our features, there is a list of pages for the maps, which give us a geographical and cultural context. We have a list of all the pages for the charts, which give illustration about how different passages relate to one another and to us, and they also highlight biblical and world events. And then with our timelines, these are going to provide us with a historical context for the actions of what we're reading in each book of the Bible. And then we have our introduction to the Christian Standard Bible or the CSB. But first, I want to start in the back. So we're going to move on for some other details that I want to show you. These are the key verses. And one of the things that I want to show you is that each section of um, the genres are given a specific color. When I'm talking about the genres, this is just the literary style of the way each book is written. So if you see here, we have the Pentateuch, and this is from Genesis to Deuteronomy. This is going to be colored green as we are flipping through our Bible, and you'll see what I'm talking about as we work through the different things here that I'm going to show you. Okay, from Joshua to Esther, this is the historical Bible genre. From Job to Song of Songs, this is the wisdom and poetry Bible genre. The major prophets are from Isaiah to Daniel, and they are in a, uh, that looks like a teal color. And then we have the minor prophets from Hosea to Malachi, and this is in a darker teal. Now this just means these books are larger than these books. It doesn't mean that the major prophets are more important than the minor prophets. It just means there's more words in this section. And then we have the Gospels, which is Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And then we have church history in Acts. Then we have the Pauline epistles. These are written by Paul, and that is from Romans to Philemon, and this is in sort of a baby blue color. This one is a peach color. I think I forgot to tell you that about church history. Then from Hebrews to Jude, we have general epistles. And so these are general letters. And these are orange. And then we have gray for revelation. Now, the reason why I'm showing you this is because I'm wanting you to notice that as we go and flip through the Bible, you're going to notice these different colors. There are 66 key verses, one for each book of the Bible. Along with your key verses, you're going to have the book of the Bible, the address, where it's located, and then what that Bible verse says. On this page, we have a genre guide. Okay, so remember, I just showed you all of these colors. Well, guess what? You've got a chart that tells you what, you eat, what each one means. So this is the reason why I wanted to start in the back of the Bible, because these are features that you need to be aware of before you start reading your Bible. In fact, I wish that this information was at the front of the Bible. So this is going to give you a meanings of what it is for the Old Testament, Pentateuch, historical, wisdom and poetry, major prophets, minor prophets. It's going to give you details of what that means. In the New Testament, the Gospel, Church History, Pauline Epistles, General Epistles, Apocalyptic. I have to pause because I get my tongue tied around that word. So this is telling you what these different genres are about. Then we have the Apostles' Creed. And the Apostles' Creed is just a proclamation of faith. And if I'm not mistaken, this is 
centuries old. I don't know when the Apostles' Creed officially came about. Okay, remember I told you that there are reading plans? Well, this is a separate reading plan. It's not the same one that you find in here. And you'll understand all that once we get inside. So with this particular reading plan, this one is called The Bible in a Year, and it is by a, I believe, was he Scottish? I can't exactly remember, but this is a pastor named Robert Murray McShane. And I think he lived um, between 18, 1810 to 1843, something like that. But it's interesting to learn about Robert McShane. So anyway, this is not a chronological reading plan, but it does take you through the Old Testament one time, the New Testament two times, and the book of Psalms two times. And you can see this is from January to December. Then we have a topical index. This is not extensive, but it has some topics in here that you might want to find and study. And then we have these hand, to me it looks like these are hand-drawn maps. I like these. They're not intimidating like some of the other ones you might find that have just tons of color and tons of tiny little words. I think this is just enough for me to understand um, as I'm reading through the scriptures and wanting to look at some of the maps. And then we have the tables of weights and measures in our contributors. So let's move on to the inside of our Bible. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Old Testament beginning with Genesis. So one of the things that you're already going to notice with your eyes is this has a lot of show through. These pages are thin. They're not opaque. So a lot of what is on the other side is going to be showing through as this does. So we have this beautiful artwork with our key verse. And this says, it was very good indeed. And where they're finding this, our address is going to be Genesis chapter 1, verse 31. So this is your Bible verse. God saw all that he had made, and it was very good indeed. So here we're going to find, talks about on the timeline, a little background, message and purpose, and we're also going to give thanks for the book of Genesis. There are 66 of these for each book of the Bible, including about giving thanks for the specific book that you're reading. So this is what a timeline layout is going to look at. So you'll get 66 of these. Read and understand Genesis. Now this will have read and understand any book that you're reading. So we've got some information here, and it says, The Bible is a complete work in which many stories combine to tell one story. As you read the book of Genesis, consider reading the additional passages to discover how the whole of Scripture works together. Okay, so this is the second reading plan. Now, this also is not chronological, but the reading plans have cross-references so that you can go deeper. For example, with week one, day one, you'll read Genesis 1 through 3, and then you'll read John chapter 1, 1 through 5, and Romans chapter 16, verse 20. So all of this here is going deeper. Now, you will not find cross-references anywhere else within the Bible, only within these reading plans. But at the bottom, you do have the footnotes. Now, I mentioned that there are devotions. There's 189 devotions, and each one of those devotions are in a different font. And yes, this is an eight-point font. This is even smaller, but it is going to have the same color genre. So we're in Genesis, we're in the Pentateuch, and that is green. And these, this is just another devotion that we have here. This is the Book of Ruth. This is so pretty. Look at the artwork that we have here. So, may his name become well known in Israel. And so, the address or the Bible verse is Ruth chapter 4, verse 14. 
And again, we've got our timeline, background, message and purpose, and giving thanks for the book of Ruth. Here we've got the tree of Jesus, the Jesse tree, really. comes. Uh, Jesus comes from the line of David. So here is our reading plan. And this is about reading and understanding the book of Ruth. And here is our devotion. And as you can tell, the genre color for this one is navy blue because it's historical. This is 2 Samuel. Here's a map and here's our reading plan. Oh, and this is 2 Chronicles. Here's a timeline. The Book of Esther, a two-page map of the Persian Empire, reading and understanding Esther, and the Bible reading plan for it. Here's the Book of Psalms, I was helpless and he saved me, and this is com coming from Psalms 116 verses 5 and 6. So we've got on the timeline, little background, message and purpose, and give thanks for the Book of Psalms. This is so pretty, I love this color. One of their covers is this poppy color, really pretty. And this is about finding Christ in the Psalms. And so here, we've got the Psalm right here. Then we have the reference to Christ and then the fulfillment in the New Testament. And then here is the reading plan going through the book of Psalms and reading and understanding Psalms. So here's the rest of the reading plan. And this is one of the devotions. This one's called Planted. Look at that, so pretty. And this is the book of Proverbs. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. And this is from Proverbs 1, chapter, excuse me, chapter 1, verse 7. You'll notice that you've got plenty of room to write in the margins. Here's a guide to the themes of Proverbs. So we have God, man, relationships, wealth, and world. So these Proverbs are about God, these are about man, these are about relationships, wealth, and the world. And here's your reading plan and understanding Proverbs. Look how pretty. This is from Hosea chapter six, verse six. Here's your timeline and then your reading plan for understanding Hosea. And remember, even though I said that you're not going to get cross-references, you do get them in the digging deeper portion of your reading plan for each book of the Bible. There's a devotional. Now we have the New Testament. Repent because the kingdom of heaven has come near. And this is from Matthew chapter four, verse 17. Here's our map and our reading plan for understanding Matthew. Oh, this is about the Passion Week in Jerusalem. That's your devotional. There's another devotional, and see, you can take your notes in here. I would just be very careful about what you use to write with. Mild liners, especially the pastel color ones, those do not bleed through too badly but I would be very careful. I don't know that I would use a ballpoint pen with this. This is another devotional about the great mercy of God. Another devotional. And this is about Matthew chapter 21, but we're also looking at Revelation chapter seven. Jesus is king. And then here we are with Galatians. I do not set aside the grace of God. And this is from Galatians chapter 2, verse 21. Here's our map and our reading plan. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 15. Here's a timeline. Our reading plan and a devotion, another devotion, and then the book of Hebrews. Now you'll notice again with these colors, this is telling you that we are in a specific genre. So with this one, we're in the general epistles. Remember going back to the um, 
back of your book, you will see what those colors refer to. Here's our timeline. Our reading plan. And then we're where we started when I was giving you all of the information. And there is that genre guide. So I hope that you can give this video a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and turn the bell white so that you'll be notified for all upcoming videos. I appreciate you guys being here and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.